If it's make a baby, I'm gonna win. <laughs> make the best music video for a nursery rhyme. You have one hour and your time starts now. Peanut on a railroad track, heart all a flutter. Along comes a great big train, choo choo peanut butter. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm all over it. None of us know that song, Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> and you know why? Because it's clearly a fever dream you want. <laughs> right. This is Catherine's video. He's orange and looking rotten, his toothbrush long forgotten. That's James, James the dirty tooth. Brush, brush. Candy crisps and sweets gave him brittle roots for feet. That's James, James the dirty tooth. Brush, brush. I love James, I love James in spite of tooth decay. Ginger bite is plaque bad breath, we're best friends anyway. But bunnies don't like him, this hat doesn't like him, kittens and foxes and puppies don't like him, his parents don't like him, I love but don't like him. Yeah, nobody likes him, because James, oral hygiene, stinks. James, <laughs> a dirty tooth. Go to the dentist. <laughs> It's incredible. It's like an audition for Glee. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, strangely creepy still. So listen, I wrote it because I really care about oral hygiene and I feel like there aren't any nursery rhymes about it. Is that allowed, making up the nursery rhyme? God. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, there's no law. Two separate things. It's a question, is that allowed? Secondly, smell this. <laughs> <laughs> that we were all making them up, and then I thought, what do I want children to know about? About a dirty tooth. <laughs> <laughs> but no one will like you if you don't brush your teeth. So you are allowed to make up nursery rhymes. There's no rules against that. Yeah. Oh, then it's great. She also wrote the music, illustrated it, <laughs> sung it, and used oh, my beautiful. awful teeth to demonstrate how bad teeth You have great be. teeth. Mm. Thank you for a cameo. Eat me, fastest wins. I'm sad because I've already lost. Because one of those disgusting boys will have just eaten it by now but I don't want to come last. Oh. <sighs> okay. I hate eating gross stuff. Let me see what it's like. <laughs> Not that bad. I don't want to go out like this. <laughs> but I don't think that I can eat anything weird. Sorry, guys. I'm not going to eat the egg. <gasps> bad sportsmanship. I'm not going to eat the egg. That's fair enough. Thanks, I'm Catherine. All right. <laughs> I think you'll find, Catherine, that those disgusting boys won't have just eaten the egg. They'll have <laughs> beautifully seasoned and displayed. <laughs> uh, thank you for keeping your sexist views to yourself. I was, I was shocked by that. I thought for sure every single person was just going to drink the egg. And as soon as I hadn't done that, I thought, I've lost now. I've never seen someone sip an egg before. <laughs> <laughs> I just... I thought I could do it. You did do it. It's just the worst of both worlds. Yeah. Once you've had mm. the sip, surely you go, actually, bang, egg. Yeah, yeah if you're an eggaholic, John. Some people... <laughs> some people can leave it after... Yeah, well, <laughs> Buy a gift for the Taskmaster. You have 20 weeks. So, what's your name? Greg. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I changed it. <laughs> I bought you a little square foot of land that entitles you to a lordship, and you are now Lord Greg Davies. Yes! For 20 quid. Yes, it's like this weird loophole because you guys are so weird and all like OBEs, they buy that anyway. It's actually uh, toxic wasteland. <laughs> you know, it's just a way of exploiting your ridiculous system. <laughs> it's a way of exploiting the ridiculous the system. system in this your country. Lordship. Your majesty. <laughs> your lordship. Pineapple. Conceal this pineapple on your person. No part of the pineapple may be thrown away. You have 20 minutes, after which Alex will inspect you. Most incorrect guesses wins. Your time starts now. I could do a courgette. I could do oranges and apple. This is... 
<laughs> I mean, it is incredible to me that that's the conclusion you would come to. <laughs> this is clearly what they want me to do with this. <laughs> I don't even think I could do a courgette. I want to clear that up. <laughs> oh, this is a big pineapple. <laughs> right. Oh, I want to eat it so bad. You're not allowed to eat it, are you? On your person, not in your person. It looks nice, doesn't it? If I eat some and it says inside you, does it, has, it, has it got me? I think it might be cheating to eat it. In my mind, I could eat this whole thing. <laughs> I'm two slices in and I'm struggling. Waist training. Please don't leak. Oh, excuse me. I should have worn bigger shoes. Ooh. <laughs> Surprisingly, a lot of moisture in these bits. You can't tell that. <laughs> Is there some pineapple on your sort of behind? No. Dog, is there any pineapple in your shoes? Yes. I essentially created two insteps out of pineapple leaves. <laughs> is there any pineapple in your crotch? Yes. Have I found all the pineapple? You have. Have you got some in your bra? No. In the front area? What do you mean the front area? Like, sort of in your pants? Wow. There it is. Thanks, Catherine. Thank you. <laughs> Patatas? Patatas. Is it in the tree? No, you're not going to leave it anywhere. There's a health and safety issue, right? Where's the cat? I can't find it. Oh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. So if I gather some of this stuff together, right? <laughs> something high and smack it out. This is no fair with Richard Osmond. Just reach up. <laughs> oh, not easy, this one. Yeah. How long do I have to keep doing this before I can give up? <laughs> if you could catch potatoes in this net, that'd be great. All right, here we go. Whoa. Cat's coming down today. Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, there you go. Come on. Come on, Alice. Go on. Uncle Alex is going to catch you. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Well done, Alice. Nice to Hi, meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. You're very young for a mayor. Yes, yes, I am. What's CLLR? Counselor. Counselor. Impress this mayor. You have a maximum of 20 minutes. Your time starts now. All right, so I took some time to think about what might impress you. And this is a cup of tea. Oh, thank you very much. You're very welcome, because I know the language of this country of yours that you are preside over. I know that you do marketing for education. Yep. So you love kids. And I thought, um, in my school, we used to have to sing O Canada in the morning. OK. So I thought, whatever your kids do in schools, let's bin that. And instead, they could have sort of a, an anthem to you. Fine. Yeah, so I would like to pitch that to you now. Great. Listen up, kids. We're going to bend the Lord's Prayer. Big ups to the big guy. That's Chesham's Town Mayor. That's Peter Hudson. You know that you can trust him. Yeah. <laughs> He's sexy, affirmative, brown hairs, bright eyes, conservative, a volunteer, but that's on all three kids, but just one came from his balls. That's Peter Hudson. You know that you can trust him. Yeah. Recreation and the arts is general interest. Food and darts. Organizes dial a ride. A politician with nothing to hide. That's that's Peter Hudson. <laughs> you know that you can trust him, yeah. Well done. Thank you. You've been on Google. That's Peter Hudson. Everybody. <laughs> you know that you can trust him, yeah. And I put on some hip-hop trousers as well. It didn't go unnoticed. That's Peter Hudson. You know that you 
Peter. Okay, let's clear this up very quickly. Peter does not preside over the whole country. <laughs> it's just uh, an I area of did. it. After that anthem, he should do. Yeah, I've spent 30 years learning to twerk like that. Make the biggest mess and <laughs> make the biggest mess and completely clear it up. You have 10 minutes. Your time starts now. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna make some phone calls. Mess with my family. I'm just gonna tell them each July. I'm in, I'm in class. What do you want? Um, I just need to talk to you about something quite serious for a minute. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just that I have news from people back home that Alan is cheating on you. <laughs> no, he's not. No, uh, they saw him in a bar and he was making out with this lady. Well, I've been cheating on him for the last six months, so what's your deal? Okay, well, I'll get more information for you when I have it, though. It might be not true, but it feels true. Bye. Oh. She wasn't that surprised. Okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna call my dad. How long has she been with Alan? They've been married for two years. Got it. Hello. Hi, Dad. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm well. I've got uh, something that Carrie just told me. She's pregnant and it's not Alan's. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm serious. This is April the 1st, is it? No, no, I'm dead serious. It's like some bad news. <laughs> You're trying to give me a heart attack. No, I'm not. I'm not. It's like. <laughs> I gotta go then and lie to someone else. Right, okay, bye. bye. God. You're one minute 45. One minute 45 seconds. To clear this up. is no good for a mess. Damn it. Um, so sorry to bother you again. I just realized that it was not Alan who was making out with that girl at the bar. It was someone else who works with Alan, but because they're both Filipino, my friend got terribly confused. So I'm really sorry. I hope you didn't. I hope I didn't make a mess. Well, I just told him that I'd been cheating on him. Oh, no, you didn't. I didn't. Well, just tell me you're joking. Oh, my God. Okay. Love you. Thanks. <laughs> I'll call Alan. I'll call Alan real quick and just tell him my sister's not cheating on him. Hello? Hello, yes. Hi. I just want you to yeah. know Carrie was just playing a big joke on you, so she's not cheating on you, Alan. Everything's cool. Enjoy your marriage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is Abe. Is Alan oh, there? Okay. <laughs> Can you call Alan and tell oh, no. him? Good. Well, tonight might be far too late, so... Okay, okay, thanks. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Your commitment to entertainment <laughs> is impressive. Yeah.